Coming up, we'll look at the Vodosta Regional Airport expansion plan. And find out how three gunmen entered a home early yesterday morning. We'll have these stories and more. Your News Valdosta starts now. Welcome to News Valdosta. I'm Zenobia Harris. And I'm Akira Foster. The Valdosta Airport Authority held a meeting yesterday about the upcoming construction on the apron expansion project. The expansion is scheduled to start in January, said Jim Galloway, the airport's general manager. Once the three-phase project has started, Scrubs Concrete will have 240 days to complete it. Approximately 90% of the project funding comes from the Federal Aviation Administration, with another 5% coming from Georgia, Depart Georgia Department of Transportation and another 5% from the airport's passenger facility charge. Valdosta police say three gunmen are still on the run. They reported three masked men entering an apartment on West Gordon Street yesterday morning. Residents of the home say they were held at gunpoint by two of the alleged robbers, while the other gunmen stole items worth over $800, which includes a 32-inch TV, Xbox, and its controller. The suspects then fled the scene. If you have any information regarding the incident, please contact the Valdosta Police Department Bureau. What would you do with $20,000? Well, the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office has just received $20,000 from the Governor's Office of Highway Safety. Lowndes County is one of the 12 counties in the Southern Region Traffic Network. The office received the funds due to its effort to enforce seatbelt safety, speeding laws, and impaired driving laws. Half of the grant will be used to support the Traffic Enforcement Network and the other half for traffic equipment. The GHOS Law Enforcement Director Powell Harrison said the program's mission is reducing crashes, fatalities, and injuries on our roads. Residents say they are pleased Lowndes County commissioners denied a rezoning request that would have led to traffic problems in their area. The request was to rezone it from a low-density residential to medium-density residential to allow construction of a 23-lot neighborhood. The homeowners were mainly concerned about the traffic increase because the area is so close to Valdosta Middle School. The vote to deny the rezoning was unanimous, motioned by Commissioner Mark Weisenbaker. Coming up, the South Georgia Regional Library observes Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And later, Xavier Clement will tell us about a recent performance held at Valdosta Middle School. So don't go away. A spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Welcome back to News Valdosta. In observance of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the South Georgia Regional Library will host a cancer awareness program this Monday at 6 p.m. The event will feature representatives from the Perlman Cancer Center who will give out information about early detection and screening. The reps will also provide resources for those suffering from the illness. For more information, contact the South Georgia Regional Library's Reference and Adult Services Department. Shopping carts, racing, charity, and fun. Hungry at Home is having its shopping cart race to raise awareness and 
money for children in need. This will be the Valdosta Lounge Park and Recreation Authority's third annual shopping cart race. The organization is encouraging local businesses, churches, families, and local groups to participate. All the food raised goes to the local children through the Hungry at Home program. The entry fee is a minimum of $25 in food. Registration is open now and the race will take place November 14th at Hobby Lobby in Valdosta. Last Thursday, the Valdosta Middle School Drama Troupe played a one-act performance. It will be played again tomorrow in Gainesville as part of a one-act competition. News reporter Xavier Clement has more. Right behind me in the Valdosta High School Performance Arts Center is taking place tonight a one-act performance played by the Valdosta Middle School students. I Will Sing Life is the name of the play, a story about children discussing about their life-threatening illnesses through songs, skits and stories. The VMS Players One Act competition team, consisting of 6th to 8th grade students, have been working on the play since the first week of school. The show has come together, it's come a long way since when our actors first started. Our leads and our support cast have been working very hard for the show. All in all, it's been a great experience and we really hope that the show tonight goes well. Now, VMS players and other area middle schools have the opportunity to join a statewide competition. It's on the 16th, it's in Gainesville, Georgia. It is a one-act competition for middle school. This is the first year that Georgia Theater Conference is hosting it for us. Uh, it was hosted by just your normal uh, middle school directors for many years, but we are very blessed to have uh, Georgia Theater Conference take over for us. And um, there's eight schools in competition, ourself and seven others. And uh, we have 45 minutes to perform our show, take our set on, pull our set off and then we'll talk back with the judges and they'll name best actor, best actress, an all-star cast and then top first and second place for the entire day. So if you want to see again I Will Sing Live just go to Gainesville the next 16th of October for supporting the Valdosta Middle School Players. For News Valdosta, Xavier Clement. We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we'll check in with Jessica Pope for our local weather report. So stay with us. how to be more than a bystander. Visit StopBullying.gov. And we're back with News about Austin. Now it's time for a look at our weather report with Jessica Pope. Jessica, what's in the forecast? Thanks, Zenobia. I don't know about you, but I've truly enjoyed the warm weather we've experienced this week in Valdosta. There have been many people relaxing in their hammocks on the VSU front lawn and soaking in the warm rays of sunshine. And we are looking at the beautiful weather to continue for the next couple of days. Today we will have crystal clear skies with a 0% chance of rain. There is a high around 84 degrees. Tonight, the low will be around 56 degrees. This will be the perfect opportunity to go out stargazing with the clear skies continuing into the night. 
For tomorrow's weather, you can expect the high to be around 87 degrees with still a 0% chance of rain. You may want to take advantage of this warm weather before it goes away. The UV index for today is 7 out of 10, which is a high level. So take precautions to protect yourself if you do choose to go out and enjoy this beautiful day. As for the pollen count today, expect for the levels to be at 4.1 out of 12 points, which is a low-medium level. The pollen count is in this lower range due to the stable humidity. This is good news for those of us who suffer from allergies, as the next few days should be pretty easy on our sinuses. That's all I have for the weather today. Back to you, ladies. When we come back, we'll check in with Tramara Conyers on local football and take a look at different sports playoff matchups. So stay with us. Thank you for calling your GED pep talk center. All right, now are you ready for your GED pep talk? Being nervous is okay. It just shows that you're serious about getting your diploma. All right, listen, we all need a little nudge sometimes. I don't function without coffee in the morning, but it is gonna take more than a double mochaccino to help you here. A lot of things are scary. Heck, I'm scared of clowns. No quiero oír. Danny, no lo puedo hacer. Quiero oír. Danny, lo voy a hacer. DMC, liking your pep talk style. Just keeping it real, Deb. Just keeping it real. <laughs> Louder! Louder! I don't mean it again! Like G-E-D! Come on! Get your hey, G-E-D! Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts and together we can stop the wrecks. Welcome back. Now let's check in with our sports anchor Tamara Conyers with the local sports report. Tamara. Thanks Zenobia. Get ready, football fans. The Varasa High Wildcats will take on the undefeated Colquitt County Packers under the Friday Night Lights in Moultrie this weekend. The Packers are currently ahead of the Wildcats in the region with two additional wins, and the game starts at 7.30 at the Packers Stadium. The Lowndes High Viking football team will be taking on the Lee County Trojans tomorrow night at 8 p.m. at Martin Stadium. This is a region matchup for the Vikings and will be their third region game of the season. And the team has a lot to prove tomorrow tonight since they are currently 0-2 in the region. And if they want any chance at a playoff run, they will have to start winning the big games like this one. The Valwood Valiants football team will take on the Terrell Academy Eagles on their home field tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. The Valiants have only two more games to go before their first round of playoffs begin. The football team are currently 6-1, but have managed to stay undefeated within their region. The Valwood Varsity Volleyball team ended their season last night undefeated when they hosted the Tiff County Blue Devils, as well as their own senior night. The Valiants came out on top after winning the game in five matches. And with this key win, the girls have closed out their season by having a perfect one. The team now turns their attention from the regular season to the state playoffs coming up and hope they can keep this winning streak alive to win a state championship. The Lowndes High softball team continued into the next round of the 6A playoffs in a doubleheader playoff game against the Hillgrove Hawks yesterday. The Vikings were able to defeat the Hawks in the first game with a score of 4-3. However, the Hawks came back in the second game and defeated the Vikings 3-1. They will be playing in a third game later on today to determine which team will further advance into the playoff bracket. The Lowndes High School competition cheerleading team will be traveling to Suwannee this Saturday to compete in the Peachtree Ridge Invitational. After this weekend, there will only be one more sanctioned competition for the girls to compete in before entering the regional competition, which leads to the state championships. This competition will give the Lowndes High School squad
squad a chance to compete against teams that are outside of their regions. That's all I have at the, as the sports report. Back to you, ladies, at the news desk. Thanks, Tamara. Coming up, we'll find out what the Velasco Police Department has in store for trick-or-treaters this Halloween. So don't go away. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where that ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. up on sex, don't give up on birth control either. There are more methods than you think. Find yours at bedsider.org. And we're back with News Valdosta. There will be no tricks this year because the Valdosta Police Department will be assisting the community for Halloween this year. A former Valdosta High School student has been recognized for what he loves. On Tuesday, Malcolm Mitchell was presenting the Georgia Star Award at an elementary school where he was surprised himself. Mitchell was selected among 15 other UGA Bulldogs for the All-State Good Works team. He was recognized for his positive impact on others and the community. He is a published author of a children's book and a proprietor of his own website. The Valdosta Police Department has announced that they will have extra officers on staff to patrol the community on Halloween between 6 and 9 p.m. The, the city also offers practical tips to trick-or-treaters like selecting routes with good lighting, wearing reflective clothing, and eating a good meal before to minimize that sweet tooth. Motorists are urged to drive cautiously through the residential areas. Fall is the season of thankfulness and appreciation. Here in Valdosta, we have new opportunities to admire our local talent. With more on the story, here's Caitlin Redford. This Saturday is going to be the first annual Fall Music Festival here in Valdosta, Georgia. The festival is going to be held at the Lowndes County Civic Center just on East Highway 84. This is the first time that musicians of all ages and talent levels will be able to play for the community. The festival will feature vendors for food and merchandise. This event hopes to bring added commerce to the area and an added appreciation of the arts. Musicians are encouraged to come out and enjoy others with their similar talents. Again, the first annual Fall Music Festival will be this Saturday at the Lowndes County Civic Center just off of East Highway 84. For News Valdosta, this has been Caitlin Redford. That's it for our program today. Thank you for watching News Valdosta. I'm Akira Foster. And I'm Zenobia Harris. We'll see you Monday. Have a great weekend.